So here's 34 year old Seth Lugo making his Royals debut. He has spent most of his career with the Mets. And last year he signed with San Diego for the opportunity to be a starter and he had career highs and in starts wins innings pitched and strikeouts. And now he'll be a fielder and get it over to Vinny for the first out. Digs in and Seth Lugo's first pitch a fastball chopped out to the second baseman Frazier to his right. It's a nice big hop and throws out Kirilov. Now the pitch. And a breaking ball is lifted to left field. Melendez moving in to make it. And the wind pushes it a bit. He makes the catch. Two ground balls and a soft fly ball to left. Joe has the long dark sleeves, dark black glove. Stands square on the rubber. Climbs the ladder and Garcia strikes out. And that was a weapon for Ryan. How often did we see that elevated four seam fastball beat opposing hitters a year ago? And for the Royals, two up, two down for Pasquantino. And the one two Pasquantino on a high splitter strikes out Joe Ryan a one two three start striking out two no score after one now a runner in scoring position for Ryan Jeffers who is the starting catcher for the twins on opening day now the pitch hit hard to third diving stop Garcia on his feet throw to first on a hop out they got him what a play by Michael Garcia and Jeffers I'm sure could take a bite out of his batting helmet. He finally got a pitch to handle only to see Garcia make a sparkling defensive play. So one away and up comes MJ Melendez. As the 2-2 delivered, swung on and lined into right field. Walner moving to his right, reaches up and makes the catch. Well struck for Melendez, but two out now and Hunter Renfro the batter. And one two to Renfro is popped up. Shallow center. Eddie Julian takes charge and makes the play and Joe Ryan has faced the minimum so far through two. Billy Castro he's going to lead things off batting left handed and he'll fill an even more prominent role in Royce's absence. The pitch delivered and it's shot back up the middle for a base hit. Willie takes a hard turn as Isbell will scoop it up. A clean single on a 2 2 pitch and Willie Castro is a threat to run. Here's the pitch. Julian swings and misses strike three. Lugo got him with a sinker down and away. Here's the pitch. Now Castro runs. Fastball swung out and missed. Throw to second. Wins tag. In time. Got him. And that ends the inning. Salvador Perez throws out his first runner of the season. Frazier, then Nick Lofton, then Kyle Isbell, bottom third of the Royals lineup. Adam Frazier to center. Buxton with room. Ooh. And right near the warning track, battling that sun. That's a fair ball. Santana will feed his teammate. And Joe Ryan is perfect through three. Kirloff was batting when Willie Castro was thrown out trying to steal. 3-2 pitch. Line drive into left field. That's going to land for a base hit. That's vintage Alex Kirloff right there. That pitch up and away. Puts runners on first and second with nobody out and brings up Carlos Correa. The pitch. Correa laces it to left field. Melendez sprints to his right, reaches out, dives, and makes the catch. MJ Melendez robs Correa of a hit, might have robbed him of extra bases, and likely robbed the Twins of at least a run. That is MJ Melendez, outfielder, on display. Walner is down on three pitches. So that diving play by Melendez really gave the Royals and Lugo a lift. Santana bounces it towards second base. Frazier scoops it up. Soft toss to first in time to get him, and that ends the inning. Bobby Wade Jr. steps into the righty batter's box. He was one for three on Thursday with a double and a walk. Fastball punch deep in the air, right center field, tailing toward the fence and off the very top of the wall. Witt races around first, gets to second, slams on the brakes there. He's got a one out double. The Royals have their first base runner. The Royals have their first hit. And it's Bobby Witt Jr. with his second double of the season. And out comes the Pasquatch. Atop the scoreboard behind the left field fence in front of the Royals Hall of Fame letters. He's taken his first stroll of 2024. Soundy's out, two gone. And that brings up MJ Melendez. 0 for 12 lifetime. And make it 0 for 13 on a vanishing splitter. And the Royals lead two. Ryan is fan three. And now it'll be Willie Castro, their switch hitting DH, left handed hitter in this situation. Singled up the middle his first time. Willie 
On the ground to Frazier, a little bobble, and that's going to cost him. Adam Frazier playing second base to begin the season because Michael Massey is on the I.L. with a bad back. Here's the one, two. Swing and a miss and a strikeout on a slider. That's number three on the day for Lugo. So two down with a runner at first. And the pitch and a curve called strike three in the outside corner. A pair of K's in that fifth inning. A man left. Four strikeouts for Lugo to the home fifth we go. No score. And Hunter Renfro leads off the Royals fifth inning. Struck him out on a low splitter. So just like Melendez thinking all right two strikes the high fastball has to be on your mind. Frazier is into scoring position now but with two down. Two hopper to Eddie Julian from shallow right field makes the play and the Royals leave one more in scoring position. Five K's for Joe Ryan today. Wynn has one of the two Royals hits today. Witt smashes it through the right side, a base hit into right center field. Like lightning, he takes off for first. Rounds, he's going for two. Walters throw off the mark. Witt dives. He's safe. Bobby Witt Jr. has his second double of the game, and this one was all speed. He blitzed out of the box. So instead of having the lefty Okert face Salvi, Rocco Baldelli has the lefty Okert face the lefty MJ Melendez. Fastball bounced through the vacated left side. Base hit in the left center. Win raises around third. He's in his score standing. The Royals take the lead. One nothing in the bottom of the sixth. MJ Melendez comes through with a runner in scoring position and two outs. The first pitch opposite field RBI single. Boy, how great was that? Wide open on the left side. And a long, loud out to right center field for Kirilov means the tying run is now 90 feet away for Byron Buxton. Chop two third. Garcia over his head. Buxton on his way to second base. He is in safely with a head first sliding game tying double. That was kind of showing Bobby Witt Jr. Hey, kid, I can still do that too. He was flying. This ball out in front of the plate gets over, and he's thinking two, just like Bobby Witt Jr. was on his double. He was thinking two right out of the box, and we haven't seen him run like that in a couple of years. Doesn't matter how the rally starts. In this case, a one out hit batter and a walk. And now here's Vasquez. The one two. Line to left field. That will land a base hit. Melendez has a big arm. Jeffers coming home. He will score as the throw gets away. Castro to third. Christian Vasquez redemption here in game two. And the Twins take a 2-1 lead. So Farmer will walk, and the batter will be Kirilov, who's had a nice day at the plate. One, two, in the air to left. Deep, Melendez back with the play, makes the catch. Castro tags. He will score. So Kirilov gets it done. Castro is in, and the Twins lead 3-1. The Twins have scored twice, only one hit this inning. And now Buxton. Here's the pitch. Swung on and lined into the left field corner. That finds the grass, and that rolls to the wall. Vasquez will score. Farmer will score. Buxton's back at second with a two-run double, and it's 5-1 Minnesota Twins. I guess he heard you. Well, I just the matchup right there. I think Buck's a better hitter than Will Smith is a pitcher. And the Twins are three outs away from a 2-0 start. Brock Stewart, not a safe situation with a four-run lead. Struck him out looking 97 on the outside corner. Brock Stewart strikes out three in the ninth, and the Twins are 2-0. For the second straight year, Byron Buxton, welcome back, number 25. Gathering Margot, gathering Kirilov. Some smiles out there in the outfield.